We are back. Today, I'm on my own. I just wanted to talk about, you know, something very simple. We're going to discuss five Pokemon that in recent developments of the metagame have seen somewhat increase in usage. Ditto here, I'm gonna, I'm not going to lie, that's kind of a stretch. I, I could very easily replace it with Zarina. Which we'll cover Zarina in a second. But um, yeah, I wanted to talk about just five Pokemon that have seen... Uh, a slight uptick in usage with uh, the format shift and just explain why that is, why they're so strong and uh, why they might be the right choice for your team. So let's go ahead and uh, get into it. If you enjoy, you know, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications and uh, yeah. comment down below what you think and what you guys want me to talk about in future videos. So this channel is partnered with Gamersubs. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersubs through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTED at checkout for 10% off. Gamersubs is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. So oh, first off, this one's pretty obvious, Whimsicott, the inherent value that Whimsicott brings to a team is a little ridiculous. Uh, you can think of Whimsicott as an alternative to Tornadus. However, what you trade off with Tornadus is Tornadus is like a uh, offensive Whimsicott. You know, you like to run like Covert Cloak. It's a little bit bulkier, but your main moves are going to be like Tailwind, Bleak Wind Storm, Taunt, Rain Dance. Sometimes you'll swap out one of these for Protect or some other cool tech. Like I used to run Leer on mine, but where Tornadus is like a more offensive, you know, hope you land your Bleak Wind Storm, support like Urshifu type mon. Whimsicott is almost entirely like a tech mon. And at that, it is faster than Tornadus, meaning that you can taunt it if need be. Uh, granted, they're not running Terra Dark, which is, you know, a fairly decent Terra on Tornadus. But Whimsicott trades off that offensive value for just so much support. So obviously it has the fastest uh, Prankster Tailwind in the game right behind, I, I guess technically right behind Gale Wing's Talonflame, but Talonflame isn't able to fast taunt, so it isn't really competition. Uh, but you could just, you know, one shot with Sharp Beak, Dual Wing Beak, but that's a different thing. It's a whole different mod. Um, but yeah, it also has access to Encore, which is really big. So Prankster Encore Whimsicott can do a couple of really interesting things. So let's say, <clears throat> let's say that you are facing down a Pokemon and you have like a, a Kyogre next to you. There are a lot of positions where the opposing Pokemon will want to go for like a spiky shield or a protect. And what Wimsicott can do is make it so, oh, you know, I caught you lack and you're going to have to click that support move or that uh, protect for the next couple of turns. Encore will lock them into it for three turns and that will force them either switch or just have a Mon locked down, which is really, really frustrating. Uh, Moonblast is usually like your main stab, but it could also run Dazzling Gleam or like Energy Ball if you're crazy. Uh, but beyond that, it has a ton of other uh, useful moves. Helping Hand does Helping Hand things, but Fake Tears, that's a really interesting one. Fake Tears is going to allow you to lower the special defense of an opposing Pokemon by two stages. So like, let's say that you have a, let's go with the Kyogre example again, right? Let's say that you have Whimsicott next to Kyogre and you're facing down a Pokemon that takes neutral damage from it, but is maybe like an Assault Vest Mon. Let's say you're facing down like, I don't know, Assault Vest Rillaboom, right? That's obviously taking resisted damage, but Rillaboom, if we were to pop it into the damage calculator at minus two special defense, even if it was like an AV, right? Minus two speed is going to make it so you're no longer resisting that hit, uh, and that Kyogre is going to be able to hit you for full power. So now, minus two special defense Water Spout is doing 91% to that Rillaboom, which is really scary because prior to that, if you didn't have the Whimscott next to it, you're only doing like 45%. It can Revenge KO you the Wood Hammer. Obviously, Grassy Glide is still scary, uh, but if you have like a Terra Grass or something on the Kyogre, it isn't really that big of an issue. So yeah, that support is really big for Whimsicott. Um, Other notable things it can do that are sort of interesting. I mean, we already talked about like Taunt. Um, I could mention like Beat Up with like a Defiant Mon or like a, you know, a, what's it called? Um, Annihilate. But that isn't really like the biggest thing in this format. Uh, usually Annihilate is going to be for you know, a little bit more fringe teams if you're going to run it at all. But uh, Trick Room is another interesting option. Uh, Whimsicott is a Tailwind Pokemon that can threaten Trick Room instead, which can really frustrate a bunch of opponents, uh, especially in close team sheet. Uh, but we're mostly talking tournaments here. So I think that the next coolest option for Whimsicott is actually running Cotton Spore and Tailwind. Um, you would probably have to drop either Protect or Encore for like Moonblast or something. I would say that if you're running Cotton Spore, maybe drop Protect and keep the Encore, because honestly, threatening Encore is never going to be bad. But Cotton Spore lets you do a couple of really cool things. 
let's say that you're facing down a Pokemon that is not only speed boosted by Tailwind, but also maybe has like an increase in that stat. Well, you know, you can Tailwind on one turn and then on the next turn, you're going to be able to Cotton Spore and outspeed that Pokemon. But even cooler than that, let's say you're facing off against like a Trick Room team. Let's say, and you know, let's say you're facing off against a um, Calyrex Ice Rider. So Calyrex Ice Rider it usually doesn't run brave minimum speed anymore. Some of them even have like some speed investment, but like, let's say you're facing down like, I don't know, 12 speed investment Calyrex, just pulling that out of nowhere. Uh, that hits 72 speed. There are a lot of Pokemon which would love to underspeed Calyrex Ice Rider under Trick Room, but just don't naturally because of, um, you know, needing to <laughs> outspeed other things, or maybe they're just straight up incapable of it. Um, but you'd still want to be able to have that option. So like, let's say you have, I'm just trying to throw a Pokemon out there that might be applicable. Uh, fire type would be cool. Let's go with, uh, you know, every time I try to think of like an example Pokemon, I'm like, oh, it's a dark type or where it's like a golden go. But I don't know. Let me, let me think of something real quick. Let me think of something. What, what's like an interesting Mon? Uh, iron Hands. <laughs> let's say you have like an Iron Hands and you have like speed investment in that Iron Hands, uh, making it so you're not outspeeding like Calyrex Ice but you do have the Whimscott next to it. You can actually like do some interesting things like side targeting your Iron Hands with uh, Cotton Spore, allowing it to suddenly be at, I don't know, let's say you're at 85 speed. Now you're at what, 42 speed. Uh, now you underspeed the Calyrex Ice. I don't know why I didn't think about this one. Kyogre is perfectly capable of doing that. Calyrex Ice hits 72 speed. Kyogre, like even at max speed is 142. Like if you're modest uh, Kyogre, 71 is half your speed stat. So you could go modest max max Kyogre and outspeed, um, or even like, you know, you can go a little bit lower right there, right? Like 70 speed, now let's go like a 139. So now at plus one speed, you're outspeeding like, you know, I don't know, I think it's, I think that number is good for like Fluttermane at plus one or something, but now your Kyogre at minus two will also underspeed opposing Calyrex Ice, uh, meaning that you can side target the Cotton Spore, underspeed them and go for the Water Spot, which is really cool. Like that's an interesting tech that you can see on certain Pokemon uh, next to Whimscott that you should watch out for. But yeah, Whimscott's really interesting. Um, it does have Endeavor as well, which could be kind of cool, but yeah. Uh, oh, another thing you can do with Encore that I completely neglected is that if the opponent sets up Trick Room on you and they're not in Psychic Terrain and they're not blocking priority in any way, technically you can Encore them into reversing Trick Room at the end of the turn, so that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to point that out. Next up is Ogre Pond Cornerstone. Now, obviously, you know, we already have Whimscon on this list. I mentioned that we might touch on Zarina um, later on, but Ogre Pond Cornerstone, another grass type. Grass types typically are really, really good in restricted formats. I'm just going to throw that out there. They're really strong. But Ogre Pond Cornerstone has been seeing an uptick in usage for one particular reason. It's in Ogre Pond. It has all the Ogre Pond tools, Spiky Shield, Follow Me, Horn Leech, Power Whip, all that. Ivy Cudgel as well. But its base ability is sturdy. Sturdy is really, 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 really strong uh, in restricted formats. And especially if you have like a Trick Room option. Ogre Pond Cornerstone is now able to follow me away at minimum two attacks and, um, you know, uh, let you get off Trick Rooms. Like, that's really cool. But, you know, we don't just see it on those options. We also see it um, on, like, hyper-offensive teams or even just, like, these teams, like, these balance uh, Zamazad teams. Like, this one took 11th at the Santiago Regionals. We can see Ogre Pond Cornerstone with Ivy Culture Woodhammer Protect follow me or Ivy Culture Woodhammer follow me Spiky Shield. Uh, and even though it's not, like, hyper-offense, just having that ability to keep Ogre Pond Cornerstone on the field for at minimum one attack and like revenge KO something is super strong in this format. Like think about all the Pokemon in the game that would one shot a regular Ogre Pond. Body Press Zamazenta, you know, plus one Terra Star Storm Terrapagos, uh, Glacial Lance from Calyrex Ice. Like it's especially good in the Calyrex Ice because you hit it for super effective damage. You have that chance to crit as well, but also you're never getting one shot. So like, you know, let's put the Calyrex Ice in the, in the, let's put the Calyrex Ice in the, in the calculator. Let's put the uh, Ogre Pond Cornerstone in the calculator. No bulk support, you know, just Jolly 252. That Ivy Cudgel is doing 79%, but you know, obviously if you get that critical hit there, your Ivy Cudgel now is a one shot against max HP. But if they're chipped down, let's say that like they're down to, I don't know, like 85% health, then, you know, that crit, Ivy Cudgel is doing 66 uh, to 79 um there is wait hold on sorry well, let's let's say you know 75 percent health let's say they take like that chip no look now now you have a a decent chance to ko you know that's that's pretty cool pretty cool 37 percent chance but yeah that's really strong also into kyogre teams obviously kyogre 
um, is a Pokemon that can outspeed and one-shot most Ogre Pond not named Ogre Pond Wellspring. But this one having the built-in Sturdy means that you can easily tank a Water Spout and then go for a Horn Leech and get a lot of health back, possibly one-shot it and get back your Sturdy, or you can just go for the, um, what's it called? Or you can just go for the Power Whip and even KO like the bulkier uh, Kyogres in one shot, you know, 145 to 171. Pretty sure if they're even 252 HP, that's still a guaranteed one shot. Uh, so that is really scary. Woodhammer is another option, but I don't like Woodhammer because we have Sturdy. Woodhammer gets rid of it. Um, obviously, you know, the one that did well in this tournament was running Woodhammer, but that's beyond the point. That's beyond the point. So yeah, Ogrepon Cornerstone, very solid option in the format. I think it's extremely strong. Ditto is interesting. I, I, I'm not going to lie. This one was a stretch, but I wanted to talk about Ditto because it always has a little bit more value in restricted formats. So what Ditto does for a team is it's a goofy little guy. It is a goofy little guy. It's able to copy the opponent's restricted Pokemon. And like, let's say the opponent's using a Calyrex Shadow Rider. And that Calyrex Shadow Rider has plus two special attack. And it's like a life orb. You switch in on it. You're immune to the Astral Barrage. You copy that. And you get to hit it back with, you know, plus two Astral Barrage. And you're faster than everything. And you're scary. You can Terra Ghost. That's like one of the best Terras for it. But also Ditto now has access to Terra Stellar. Meaning that you can you know, have a boost on whatever attack you really need to at least once. So that's that's a very strong Pokemon. You can do it for Kyogre. You can do it for basically any any offensive restricted. It's it's not like there are any non-offensive restricted, but any restricted, you can like copy them. And that's really cool. Um, Do you copy the Zamaz? I'm pretty sure you copy Zamazenta at plus two. I'm actually really, really curious. Hold on. Like, let's say there are two Zamazentas, right? And one of them is at plus one and one of them is at plus two, right? So this one, defense. Okay, yeah, plus two body press into the opposing Zamazenta. Guaranteed to it KO. But guess what? That's why you run Terra Ghost. So you always win that exchange. Just throwing that out there. Very awesome. Clefairy is a Pokemon that has always been very strong, but it's especially good in restricted formats because restricted formats are very much like a protect the president sort of format. It's like, hey, this is the team captain. Don't let him go down. But even like Clefairy, strong because of friend guard. Uh, friend guard lowers the damage of all incoming attacks to three quarters. You can think about it almost like a combined Tablets of Ruin and Vessel of Ruin, but it doesn't hurt you at all. You can still be offensive with it, but it's almost exclusively on really bad Pokemon. So Clefairy is really interesting because uh, it's had a couple of results recently. Stockholm Regionals. Now, oh, where was it? Where was the, the one I was looking at? Here it is. So at the uh, Santiago Regionals, we actually did have a Clefairy in third place, and it was paired with a Terrapago Stellar, which I thought was really cool. There's also a Volcarona here, but Terrapago Stellar is the ultimate Protect the President Pokemon because it is very much a I need to get set up. If I lose my Terrapagos, I die sort of team. Um, and because of that, uh, it needs recovery to maintain its, um, what's it called? Not Terra Shift, the um, Terra Shell. Because at full health, you resist all attacks. So with the Clefairy next to it, you know, you not only have follow me to, you know, prevent all damage incoming into that uh, Terrapagos, and especially that Covert Cloak, that's really scary. But you have Heal Pulse to keep it topped off, and any damage that does go into it uh, is going to be decreased by three-fourths, which, bear in mind, Terrapagos is already an extremely bulky Pokemon. You know, the, the Stellar form has 160 HP, 110, 110, and it's just going to be blasting you with Terra Star Storm at like plus one or plus two. So like, that's really scary. Um, I, I honestly, I find it interesting that I took this long for a Clefairy Terrapagos team to go deep into a tournament, but it could have just been the adjustment of like a Volcarona or something. But yeah, I think that's a really interesting um, option for the format. We have actually seen Clefairy uh, perform well previously on like that one team that Wolfie ran uh, with Clefairy plus Calyrex Shadow Rider. That was an existing thing in like Dynamax, but it is good to know that Clefairy Shadow Rider is still very strong. Um, and of course, you know, Clefairy is going to be able to support basically every other restricted Kyogre, Groudon, Corridon, Miradon. Redirection plus a decrease in damage is never going to be bad, especially in a format like this, where it seems that everything is getting one shot or two shot on like every turn uh, since, you know, the power is so high. So Clefairy being able to slow down the game is going to be really, really, really strong. And of course, we have Moltres Galar. Moltres Galar, the newest breakout superstar of the format. Um, it's good for a variety of reasons. Uh, you know, mainly it's a dark type in a restricted format. It has untauntable tailwind and it has access to some really insane moves. Fiery Wrath is a 100% accurate 
near rock slide clone, just dark type, 90 base power, and only 20% chance to flinch. That 20% chance to flinch is obviously very strong, but also because as that ability berserk, you know, if it ever reaches less than half its HP, it gets plus one, basically a choice specs. But biggest of all is the black glasses foul play adjustment that was made. This will allow for Moltres Galar to be able to deal really consistent damage into a lot of really strong Pokemon, notably Calyrex Ice Rider, which is you know, arguably the best restricted in the format at the moment. It's it's really up in the air what the best restricted is, but I think that Calyrex Ice Rider is like the most consistent one of all of them. So, you know, that one's got my vote. But of course, Black Glasses Foul Play into a non terrid Calyrex is a roll to KO with max HP. So they do need to put defense to make sure that they don't get annihilated by that move. But yeah, um, if they aren't running any defense investment and they're just max HP, then you have an 18% chance just to straight up one shot it. Obviously, you know, you have to be a little bit careful. That Icicle Crash will hurt quite a bit. Um, or not the Icicle Crash, the um, Glacial Lance will hurt quite a bit. But luckily, not only can you increase the damage of your uh, Foul Play by going Terra Dark, but you can also remove your Glacial Lance weakness and take like 50% from that instead of just getting one shot, meaning that your Foul Play always one hit KOs and your Fiery Wrath is a two hit KO. So that is really crazy. Um, this mod's really strong, you know, it obviously has a couple of other options it can do in this format. Um, it has Tailwind, you can obviously drop, you know, for, uh, Protect for like Snarl, and that makes your matchup into Pokemon like Kyogre a little bit stronger. You can even drop the Black Glasses, I think Citrus Berry is a really strong option on this mod, because, um, it lets you get that Berserk boost twice per game at minimum. Uh, and of course there are other really cool things it can do, Taunt. Sucker Punch is really strange, but you see that once in a while as like a, a way to proc like... <laughs> weakness policy on like uh restricted pokemon or you know just as a way to have like a surprise uh priority move but it's a cool mod also nasty plot you know you can run like clefairy moltres nasty plot moltres is a really strong pokemon that i think is just it always gets undervalued it seems like it seems like people always just like lean way too much into the setup and it does best when it requires like no setup that's why I think like Citrus Berry is so strong you don't have to run nasty plot and of course the black glasses just gives you immediate damage so yeah those are just five Pokemon I think are really strong. Zarina, um, let me cover that real quick. Zarina is strong because it's a bulky grass type with triple axle, U-turn, power whip, and like helping hand and stuff, and it blocks priority moves, and it's good for Kyogre. There you go. There's your Zarina breakdown. Let me know what you guys think about the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about next. See ya. Bye.